She had love. She had compassion. She had four beautiful children. She raised them to be respectful, but most of all, spiritual. My nine-year-old, our nine-year-old, not my nine-year-old, our nine-year-old, who we believed was destined to be a pastor, that little boy would lay hands on you and pray for you. He witnessed his mother shot and killed. In his soul, in his heart, it's his fault that his older brother, his baby sister, and his baby brother, as well as himself, will never see their mother again. Because he went home and told his mother what this woman did to him. Our 12-year-old blames himself for the death of his mother because he couldn't save her. He couldn't give her CPR. His words was, Grandma, Grandma, I couldn't save her. I tried to give her CPR, but I couldn't, do, I tried to give her CPR. Our princess, who was a mini Ashika, will never feel her mother's arms around her, will never have her mother comb, wash, braid her hair again. And if you know, in the African community, those moments of doing hair is a bonding moment. Yeah. 